All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of our hardcore Iron Man series on Bannerlord. So, uh, first of all, I just want to point out, only took me a couple days to upload this one. I know, it's unheard of. An upload schedule like this hasn't happened in months. <laughs> now, I do apologize for how long the last episode took to come out. There will be no more, like, two-week-long breaks, I, I promise. Um, so... That being said, last episode was a pretty big one for us. Not only did we kind of establish the beginning to a real army, we have a whole bunch of Kurgit, sorry, Kuzate cavalry archers, and uh, we managed to not only take out our first caravan, but also capture our first lord. Or actually, no, he's not really a lord, he's just a little mercenary. And so at the end of last episode, I put it up to you guys, I said, hey, what do you want, what do you want us to do to this lord? And I was fully expecting you guys to be overwhelmingly on the on the side of uh, execute them. That's what that's what we're here for. We want heads to roll. Uh, but a lot of you guys actually said otherwise, especially since we need to do a little bit of uh, training in charm if we're going to woo over one of these Calradian bachelorettes. Uh, and apparently, one way to do that is to let lords go. Also, phew, surprise, surprise. I guess that like people consider you you as being cruel if you execute lords and stuff i i don't, I don't get it I, I i don't understand but um so yeah we're probably gonna want to wait on the lopping off of heads until after we're married the old henry the eighth you know what i mean so we're here today we're gonna ransom the guy off because unfortunately the dude that we captured last time we can't like set him go now and be like oh you're gonna give us some honor right because like we only kidnapped you for a week after the battle right no we can't do that but what we can do is sell him off to this ransom broker. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right, so I need to know. Uh, got prisoners to sell. Beautiful. So, how much does this guy go for? Only 500. You are worthless, you know that? <laughs> You're so bad. What? <laughs> That's awful. Uh, okay, all right, well... We're going to ransom off some of the people that aren't worth as much. I want to recruit some of these guys, actually. So I don't... We're not actually going to uh, sell any of these guys. Oh, no. Wait, hold up. We don't want the Jawal guys. We saw how useless they were. We'll sell them off with... Look, seriously? These were the mercenaries that Re Regea uh, contracted? Boy. <laughs> they should be getting their asses kicked by the, uh, the Azurai. All right, we'll leave these guys because these are all guys I'd like to recruit, especially this camel rider. What is going on with his picture there? Interesting. Like morphing camels. Um, we will take him, though, even though he is part of the Jawal clan. At least this guy has, like, some, some belongings. I don't know. All right, so we're getting a skill point in Rogri. We get a little bit of cash. Cool, cool. Let's get out of here. Also, ooh, we still need to sell off the loot. Um, I'm not sure what all is in the loot there. I think we got quite a bit. I just won a tournament at, um, well, whatever town we're at right now. I just won it. And we got a pretty nice set of shoulder pads that are indeed better than what we currently have. So we will take those. <laughs> Leopard pelts. Nice. Uh, I think we're good to just sell all this off except for the desert horse. Yes. Yeah. I think that's good. Are any of these horses really cheap? Ooh, 345 for the cheapest. No. No, we're not going to buy any of those, but we will sell all this off. Cool, cool. Anything important that we shouldn't be selling here? Eh, not really. All right, another 2400 Okay, so, goals for today. Uh, a couple things. I think, at least for the next couple episodes, I'd like to get a new workshop every single episode. That means us getting, you know, roughly 15 k cash uh, each episode. Not easy to do, but not impossible. And definitely good for uh, cash flow. As one of you guys said in the comments, the best workshop to get in almost any town is actually a tannery. And it, wakes, it makes way more money than these other ones. Um, so we're going to try that out. So that's the first goal. Second goal, I actually want to travel back to Vlandia. We're ending Rolf's uh, adventuring days off in, uh, in the Far East. And we're going to go back to Vlandia and hopefully become a vassal and start meeting the remaining bachelorettes. So... By the way, uh, let me go ahead and... Well, should I do this now? Yeah, okay. Let me go ahead and do this now. Let me introduce to you guys the winners from round one of Bachelor in Calradia. Okay, so round number one. 
Uh, as a surprise to nobody, Liena absolutely blew Richelda out of the water. I mean, with stats like those, it's, it's <laughs> it was really not up for debate. Um, so as Rolf managed to, uh, to narrow this competition from eight down to four ladies, he, he did a little more investigating, wanted to find out more about these ladies' personalities, what motivated them. Uh, and so what his contacts came back with for Liana is that she was quite honor-bound. She lived and swore by an oath to protect her people and to bring them peace and prosperity. And that's, that's, that's what she lives by. That's what she's all about. Um, great on the field of battle. Great in the courtroom. She can do it all. She's a tough, tough competitor. Definitely one of the top runners. But her being honor bound does bring into question how much or how well she's going to get along with Rolf. Anyways, round number two. We have Mitzi as the victor. So she, uh, I mean, once again, quite handily defeated Elise. Um, Mitzi is, you know, fairly similar in terms of personality, at least, to Liana. Just, you know, skills not not quite as great. And I think part of that is she's just a little bit younger. Hasn't quite had the experience leading an army. Um, although, I will point out, looking on the side here, and on the 6th of autumn, she managed, or she was taken prisoner. And then just one month later, remember, there's only 30, 30 or so days in a, in a season to this game. She uh, managed to take... The, whew, take this dude prisoner holy crap okay all right all right mitzi um her hobbies according to the informants include trying to become a faceless one and uh basically becoming overpowered and killing the night king with a ton of plot armor anyways moving on to round three we have auto Fleeta taking this one not even close, really. Uh, besides, yeah, besides Liana versus Richelda, I think this... Actually, no, no, no. no I take that back. This one was a little bit closer, but still, Autoflita comfortably took this one. Uh, so, as it turns out, Autoflita is a little different than Liana and Mitzi. Um, she's not so much about the whole honor and customs and stuff like that. She's She wants to be the greatest lady knight how Rady has ever seen and obviously looking at her stats she's she's not there yet okay she's not there yet but she's working on it um she's quite daring she charges headlong she she makes sure she's on the front line she's the vanguard of every battle uh she wants to bring renown and prestige to her household in the form of tournaments major battles conquering your enemies whatever the case may be she wants to live up and, and bring pride to her father Uthri, who she gets her daringness from she wants to be as strong as he is, and let me tell you, that is one, that is one beefy dude right there. <laughs> that guy's a tank. That's not a father-in-law Rolf is looking forward to having to convince. But, if he does, perhaps that would work out. It does say that she is honorable, so we'll see uh, how much issues she really takes with Rolf and his means, or if him gaining renown, maybe that makes up for it. Maybe the end justifies the means even if the means are less than honorable. But anyways, for our final matchup, matchup number four, we have none other than Sylvan absolutely blowing Adelindis out of the water. Really not even close, and when you look at her skills, I mean, <laughs> there's not really much question why, right? Her and Lyanna are leaders of the pack right now for a reason. So... That, with that being said, Sylvan actually stands out for other reasons from the final four girls. Sylvan is the only lady left that is not honorable. She's daring and cruel as it actually is. She has a reputation of being fierce and cruel. And so, somewhat similar to Autoflita, uh, she very much a, is interested in bringing renown and prestige to her household. It just so happens that she doesn't really care about the methods. If less than honorable methods are necessary to get results, then by all means, Sylvan will put a few tactical knives in the back if that's what needs to happen. She's very much a, a type A personality. She, I mean, 
her goals are, are truly to actually rule a kingdom. She wants to be a queen. She wants to rule as big a portion of Calradia as possible. She wants power. And I'm not going to lie. I think Rolf likes what he hears when he talks about Sylvan. So, that's the all the further information we're going to get right now in the round, the final four. So we're, we're going to have one more matchup this episode. Um, the first matchup is going to be Liana. Let me look this up real quick. Actually, I can probably just go backwards, right? Yeah, Liana versus Mitzi in round one. Battle of the all good perks or personality traits. And then the other matchup in the final four is going to be Autoflita versus Sylvan. So, you guys know the drill. Just as part of your comments down below, go ahead and write who you would like. You can place one vote for, for both matchups. Um, just let me know. I mean, I got I kind of have an idea as to who I think is going to make into the next round, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. That's enough of uh, Bachelor and Cal Radio for now. Uh, what I'm going to try to do... I'd like to start heading our way back over to Vlandia, but along the way, I think I might like to do a little more raiding, try to get us closer up to that 15k mark, maybe catch a few caravans along the way, and then uh, once we have enough for a workshop, I think we'll be good to leave. I don't know how ending your mercenary contract works, if they're going to get really pissed off at us. I mean, we've been with them for like a solid month or two. We've been doing some good work, I feel like. We've been raiding a lot of the towns. I don't think they can really be pissed at us for that. But uh, then we will be joining Vlandia as a vassal, hopefully. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> that was a lot of salt that we just got. That's going to sell for a ton. Um, all right, let's head over to Mysia. I don't know which of these towns salt sells for a lot. Of. Let's actually check. 27 salt? Well, it's got to be worth more than that. All right, where does it sell for a lot at? Amitatis and Balticand. Where are those at? Well, I guess Amitatis is kind of all the way. Balticand all the way up there. Now we're trying to make our... Yeah, we're trying to get closer. All right, we're going we're gonna to head over to Mysia, see what they're looking like. Oh, here's another very uh, weakly defended town. Problem is, I'm, I'm very weak right now, so I don't know if I want to even be a part of this fight. Also, this is very close to the town we just raided, so I assume there are lords on the way. Ah, let's come on. I mean, come on. Let's... Oh, let, let's push our luck, huh? Let's push our luck. I'm going to stay back. I'm not going to get close into this fight at all, just because I'm so weak. But, we'll let the other guys have their fun. Ew. What is this town? All right, interesting. Infantry, move out. Do I only have thirteen infantry? Onward. Huh? Doesn't seem like that much. Arrow, All right, where are the enemies at? Okay, they're coming. They're coming. All right, well we'll hang tight right here, and once they get closer, we'll just I don't know, pincushion them from range. Actually, the more I'm looking at this, this is a nice open battlefield. Actually, no, there's a big river right here that they're gonna have to cross. I don't think that's good to charge our horses in there. Well, let's wait for most of their infantry to get taken out at least. Then we can just send our horses in. Oh, they're getting wrecked. Oh my god, their infantry is getting demolished. Even even our infantry is getting in on the ranged fun. Alright. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant. Fire at will. Right, you know what? Just everyone charge in except for the archers. There we go. That'll work out. Cool. All right, not too bad. I, as close as as much as I want to get close, I know it's not a smart idea. This is literally one shot territory. Those, uh, what are they? The looters that we took out, uh, just uh, just a second ago, I almost got one tapped by them. Even in this armor, we're still squishy. I need to like have more respect for those guys. <laughs> like it's terrifying to almost get one tapped by a looter. When you're like a decent ways into the campaign. I need to get some better armor ASAP. That's probably our next goal once we make it back to Vlandia. Start looking for some really nice sets of armor. Oh, really one of their last archers managed to kill one of my raiders? That's kind of dumb. Alright, still pretty good though. Only lost one. Good stuff. Gaining more renown, influence, morale. All that good stuff. Cool, cool. 
We will take the prisoners. Go ahead and upgrade those guys. That's free. Veterans. All right. Good stuff. Oh, over the prisoner limit. I'll just buy one. Shit. Uh, okay. I'll deal with that in a sec. Ba -ba -ba. All right. Cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. Give me one moment, villagers. I'll steal the rest of your stuff in a second here. Let me just get rid of this. Eee, uh, the militia archer, I guess. Yeah, we'll get rid of him. Cool. What do you got for me? Oh, that's actually not too bad. It's a decent amount of loot right there, which gives us uh, a good feeling for what we're going to get when we actually raid and take everything from them. We gave them the option. Look, give us everything you got. They didn't want to do that, so now we have to burn the whole place down and make sure we get everything they have and make sure they're left with nothing. At least before, if they'd just given us everything right away, you know, they could have kept their houses. It's kind of hard to loot a house. You know what I mean? Like, just pick it up, move with it. I've seen videos of that before. Can't Don't people actually move their houses like they put them on giant semi-trucks? And I don't know how that works. That's actually fascinating to me. I'd love to hear how that actually functions. How do you take a house out of the ground, pick it up, put it on a truck, and then put it and then like drop it off somewhere? That just doesn't make sense. <laughs> doesn't make sense to me at least. All right, good stuff. Right at the village. Let's get out of here. My Zia, I've got plenty of loot. Actually managed to heal up a little bit. Not too bad. Come on. We'll see what they sell for here. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Olive sell for a ton. Oh, beautiful. Salt is decent here. We'll sell till it gets down to like 30s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do like that here and then we'll sell the hardwood. That's going for a good amount. Nice. Um, hold on to the rest of the salt for the time being. Rest of this can go. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The loot is getting so much better. Is that just... Oh, look at all these guys ready to join us, too. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, man. Welcome to the winning team. All right, all right. Not too shabby. Uh, while we're here, I, I always need to remember to check the taverns. Okay, no one in this case, but you never know. Never know when you might find a badass hero. Uh, I might wait here for a little bit just to heal up before we settle on the road again. And potentially we can do a tournament here. Always got to look for more ways to make money. All right, no such luck with the uh, with the tournament. There isn't one going on right now, but hello there, Mizea. All right, this might be, I'm trying to think, this might be one of our last last cities, or sorry, villages that we raid on our way over to Vlandia. But we're, make, we're making sure on this farewell tour, we're making sure they, uh, they're going to remember the name Roll for quite some time. Uh, you know, an infamy perhaps, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, any recruits? Oh, no. Okay, I didn't think so. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny, though. Uh, okay. Supplies? Oh, 42! Oh, shit! Uh, uh, okay, at least it's like the other battlefield. That we don't mind as much. Archers right there. Horse archers! Forward! Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit, a little bit more, uh close of a battle i'm gonna predict but if we can do the same thing with our archers close to it and take out most of their infantry before they even get in range of our boys um i think we should be able to clean this one up the loot is definitely going to be a lot better though not only does them having 42 militia mean that they're just a much wealthier town but just the loot from the looters or from the militia themselves infantry do a shield wall what are you guys doing I feel like I shouldn't have to tell you shields forward. But yeah, this is perfect. I mean, they're literally charging into a river. And just getting shot down as they're trying to wade through water. It's beautiful. There we go. That's what I like to see. Alright, the archers are getting a little closer. Hopefully they're not targeting us too closely. Alright, a lot of their infantry is just running away. We're landing some good shots. Good, good lads. Okay. Alright, we're good. Go in. Just gotta pick off the rest of their archers. 
What a beautiful battle. That worked out very well. I don't mind that a bunch of them retreated. We don't need to kill all of them. That allows us to just focus on their archers right away. Was that one of our boys? Oh, that was his horse getting taken out. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, hold up. I gotta, like, keep an eye on these guys. Not trying to get headshot and have the series end. We're on 70%, which is good, but not great. There we go. Nice shot. Still not used to this, uh, like, scimitar thing we're using. I know it's supposed to be fast and do a lot of damage, but man, I just kind of miss our old weapon, our old sword, whatever that was. It was just so long. Had all the reach in the world. Sure, it wasn't as fast. Sure, it didn't do quite as much damage. But it hit when we needed it to. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Uh, where are these guys at? We're chasing them down, I guess. Oh my goodness, they're all the way over there. Alright, we're going to try to hit a few long range shots. But failing that, we're just going to let them go. I don't think we can get to them before they reach the edge of the map. Come on, where are these arrows going? Oh, wow. We actually shoot these quite far. Ah, oh, they're gone. Alright. Oh, man, that was beautiful. Almost six renowned for a single battle? Against these guys? We only lost two troops? Very well done. Very well done, lads. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and recruit as many of these guys as we can. Do we have to leave one of them? Just leave the spearmen. Yeah. Cool. Well done. Alright. Boom. Give me that loot. This would be... Potentially a poor time to have a lord finally come up and put an end to all of our looting. Because I think this is going to be a big town for us. It says they're going through hard times. I don't know if that was before or after we raided them, though. <laughs> In all fairness. Um, Alright, come on. They had, I mean, they had such a big militia. Surely they have they have some good loot. No, don't give me no don't give me grain. And cotton, I guess I don't know how much how much does cotton sell for? Alright, the villagers are bad. Oh, they probably just Oh, they just sold off a bunch of their goods, didn't they? Oh. That's no fun. Oh, <laughs> don't rip those villagers, they're gone. <laughs> they're absolutely demolished by the looters. Okay. Alright. I almost feel bad for these guys. Rolf doesn't, but but VMP I do. We might take out those looters. Just on our way. Yeah, why not? I mean, they're just training dummies for our troops, right? Maybe we can get... Yeah, we can get some of these guys to join us. Beautiful. Oh, one of the Bedouins. Nice. Nice. Alright. I mean, yeah, might as well. Let's take out those looters. Just more XP for all my, uh, my cab archers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're up to 50. We're up to 50. We don't, we're not even a lord yet. That's the crazy thing. Doesn't it go up a lot once we get a fief? Attack! I want to say it goes up a lot when you get a fief. But I might just be crazy. Um, Alright. I want my horse archers to be able to riddle them a little bit before they reach our, uh, our infantry. Soften them up a bit. You know how it is. Oh, that was a juicy headshot. Ooh. Six damage. How dare you? See, I don't get it. Like, their stones do, like, no damage to me nowadays. But I, I promise you, I got hit for, like, 75 damage from a melee weapon from one of these guys. Literally a club. It wasn't even, like, a pitchfork that I was charging in on. It was just, he was just using, like, a club or, like, an axe or whatever the hell they normally use. Boy, cut it out. Oh. oh, I thought that was a headshot. Never mind. I got tactic skill for just blindly firing behind me and hitting a shot. <laughs> for being lucky. I guess that works. Good. Alrighty. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, moving on. Uh, Imperial recruits. Are we that desperate nowadays? We are, I do feel like we're starting to run a little low on infantry, but we just we did just recruit some. Mm. Alright, if I pick these peasants up, they allow me to have more prisoners. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's just do that. Cool, cool. Alright, we'll go to Mysia. We're going to sell off the prison. Oh, that's a lord right there, isn't it? 95. Hello, Sarandon. 
Hello, Sarandon. Um, hey, hey, uh, you heard about me raiding every every village around here? Uh, might be. No, no, you're looking for someone else. That wasn't me. That, that was, uh, yeah, somebody else. Um, a little awkward, but oh, 3K? Yes, we're up to 20. Not bad. All right. Choose the prisoners to be ransomed. Get these looters on out of here. Can I ransom these peasants now? Is that a thing? <laughs> they escort the prisoners over there and find out that they also are prisoners. No, not quite. Um, we are we are going to fire them, though. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we are going to fire I mean, come on. We'll keep these recruits, though. All right. Well, I guess we're hanging tight in here until Sarandon fucks off. Oh, Ray Gaia. Wow. We just barely missed out on uh, the response. Oh, she's defending Melian? Oh, it's too late, girl. I'm just, that's, that's old news. Been there, done that. It's gone. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> um, tell you what, let's just buy the workshop now. Is that... What happens if you buy a workshop and a faction that you later go to war with? Do you... Do you just lose out on income for that period? Or do they, like, forcefully acquire it from you? I don't know how that works. I'm a little worried about that. Maybe we'll save the money for just Vlandian Town, son. That, that could be smarter. Um, any new prisoners? Or, <laughs> prisoners, Jesus. Any new companions? Any new people wanting to join me? Definitely not prisoners. Don't worry. Definitely not recruiting you just so I can sell you off. That's not what's happening. Alright, cool. A little tournament. We win this real quick, and I promise we will actually get to Vlandia at some point. All right, here we go. Final round. Give me money. <laughs> Typical crossbowman. Oh, never, okay. All right, hold up. I was about to, about to just insult him for not knowing what he was doing, and then he started kicking our ass. All right, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Really need to get some new armor, man. Um, let's actually check out. Let's, let's see what they got here. Who knows? There actually might be some decent armor here in the Empire. Yikes. No. <laughs> okay, then. Hello. Mm. Bit out of our budget. Uh, but that right there is not too shabby. How much of an improvement is that for us? Plus 9, plus 13, plus 10 in total. Obviously, we're losing a little arm armor, a lot of body armor, a decent amount of leg armor gained. Okay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. How much of a bonus would this one be? Plus 12, plus 22 in total. That's a lot better. That's what we'd like to get to. Um, I think there might be some better armors in Vlandia. And I'd almost prefer not to buy this only to then like probably next episode or the episode after go and, and buy one of these i think yeah so we're gonna leave that for now i'm gonna leave that for now what did i also what did i get right just now oh 1200 not bad not bad any cheap horses here the sumter horses don't count they you can't actually upgrade with them which is not fun um sturgeon trotters i mean still pretty cheap here Let's, uh, yeah, let's buy a couple. Let's get, like, ten of those. Speed us up a little bit over the battlefield, right? How much did that do? I'm just curious. Oh, that actually gives us a lot. That speeds us up a lot, actually. We might buy them out. That speeds us up a ton. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Whole bunch of Stur Sturgeon Trotters. Still have more than enough to get a, uh, a Leatherworks when we can. Beautiful. All right. Onwards to Vlandia. We're coming home, baby. Ooh, nice. We get to recruit one of those Imperial Caravan Guards. All right. Not bad. Not bad. And we're going to get to raid one of our last towns. Who knows? We might also hit up uh, Amicon on our way out. But boom. Give me supplies. These guys are... I'll be honest, I think these guys are just flat broke. This is <laughs> this is not really uh, a tough battle, shall we say. We'll go ahead and charge everybody in. I'm not not too worried about this one. We'll leave our archers back, but everyone, oh my god, just look at those arrows. Look at those arrows. Blah, oh, and the headshot. Oh, these guys just can't catch a break. 
These poor brave empire guys, militia spearmen and archers, they're doing their best. Unfortunately, their best is just not enough. Oh, what up? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that was a nice shot. Oh, 154. Okay, I mean, this saber hits hard. Obviously, it's a little harder to get hits with it. It's much shorter, but when it does hit, it crunches. Actually, it's a saber. It doesn't really crunch. It just kind of slashes. But man, does it slash well. <laughs> Alright, good stuff, lads. Alrighty. Beautiful. Right, what do we got here? A couple level ups. Didn't lose anybody. Can't complain. We didn't even take a hit, I don't think. Uh, can we hold that many prisoners? Damn right we can. Damn right we, we can. Alright, more of the tribal warriors. Boom, boom. Still got a decent amount of those horse archers. I mean, obviously, they're going to slowly go down. Um, they're going to slowly get picked off battle to battle. Uh, but wow, they only had a single bag of grain to give to us. Yeah, that's not acceptable. Go ahead and just raid the rest of it, Rolf. Go ahead and raid the rest of it. Oh, hardwood, though. Oh, see, now if you sell that at the right place, that's some good money. Oh, look at these caravans. I wish. I wish. Stick stick around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay around right around here, caravans. I'll be there in a sec. Oh, there's so much loot here. We're going to get so much hardwood. Wouldn't it be funny if the caravans, like, teamed up and said, hey, why don't we just take them out? <laughs> Wait, I know that's not our job. They are hanging around. I don't want to take both of them out at the same time, though. Like, I could take one group of 29 out. But both of them is a bit much. Um, what do you got here? See, the problem is they have a lot of cavalry. Hey, hey. Don't like the cavalry. And they just, they keep on staying together. Ah, uh, I think we might just leave those two alone. We can't get them to separate. Oh my god, and there's a third now? Okay, definitely not taking on 90 of them. Ooh, hold up, wait a minute. Oh my god, there's so many caravans here. What is going on? Uh, only 10 cavalry in that one. What does this one look like? Hello? Only 7? Oh, I want that one. Sheep? We don't need sheep. Let's go ahead and make sure to recruit as many of these guys as we can before this battle. Beautiful. Alright. It's going to be worth a lot of loot. When do we level up? Oh, tactics. Nice. Cavalry attacks cause 10% more morale loss. That's beautiful. That's actually awesome. Especially once we start getting some banner lords. <gasps> oh! Oh, yes! This is the best one! Increase HP by 10! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's awesome! That's so good. Oh, that's like the best perk in the game. <laughs> Alright, are these guys joining in or is it just us? Alright, it's just us. Cool, cool. Hand over your goods. Ooh, tell me about the markets. Bought olives from Praven to t for 25 to sell at or Orchengrad. Orchengard. Gotcha. Well, thank you for that. Uh, yes. Also, give me all your belongings. <laughs> Why don't you give me those olives and I'll go sell them at Orchengrad or whatever. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's be smart about this one, right? Okay. Boys, just move up a little bit. Are they charging us? They're not. Okay. I think they just protect their own goods. Warrior! Raise your shield! Get move arrows! Move out! Horse archers! Forward! Are they coming to us? I think they might be, actually. Honestly, their cavalry is not nearly as threatening as the other one we went up against, so... Oh, yeah, 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 32. Oh, my God, those are all archers? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Why are there so many archers? <laughs> Holy shit. I thought those were their infantry and their archers were, like, back here. But no, just, they're all archers. Man. They, like, fooled me. It's like that meme, like, uh... Somebody call an ambulance! 
but not for me. That's what it felt like there. Like, I was about to... Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Okay, buddy. Thank you for that, boys. I didn't need it, but I do appreciate it. How are we looking here? How are we looking? How many did we lose? Oh, we didn't lose anybody. Oh, my God. We just had people get knocked unconscious. That's beautiful. Holy yes. Who's left? Oh, uh, one of their cavalry who's now dehorsed and in a world of hurt. Oh, he's not having a good time. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> oh, man, that was, that was scary. I mean, they only hit us for 32. It's not like they did that much damage to us, but I was just not ready for that. <laughs> for every single one of them to pull out a bow and start firing at me. All right, beautiful. Didn't lose anybody. Bunch of level ups. Good renown and the loot. Mm. Perfect. All right, what? Are, oh no, we've got so many scrubby dudes. Okay, who are we gonna get rid of here? Right, get, get rid of the. Uh, get rid of five of these guys. Five of these guys, and then let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, give me some of those. Give me some of those. Those. We got six more. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take some of those guys. Beautiful. I love it, I love it. Uh, go ahead and level up those guys. Sweet, sharpshooter, nice. We got two of those, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Veteran infantryman. Okay. Now we're talking, baby. Oh, there it is. Look at all those olives. Thank you, mate. Uh, we will go ahead and sell those for you, as well as those grapes. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm Intatis. How, you, how are you guys doing over here? Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, the hardwood. Sells for bank here. 65, that's gorgeous. Yeah, we're just going to sell all of it. Uh, the cotton, the hogs can go. The salt, 44 is pretty good. We'll go ahead and sell that off. Flax is low, we're not going to sell that. Oil, that seems good. Wine seems good. Dates, that's good. Olives is pretty decent here. Uh, the butter, yeah. The grapes, we'll keep. We'll keep the flax for now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Now we can go ahead and sell that off. All right, now sell off all the loot. Come on, good news. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so much money. Holy... Caravans, baby. We need to we need to fight them more often. Now that we've actually got a decent army, we can actually... F That's such a turnaround. We went from not being able to take out caravans at all to like two episodes later, we just took that caravan out without losing a single unit. That's, that's crazy. All right. We're so close. Let's bring this one home. How much influence do we have here? 11? Alright, so hopefully by the time we get home, most of that will have been converted into our wages. And we will be good to go. Our workshops are making us bank right now. 370 a pop. That's actually pretty good. That's way more than they normally give us. Alright, alright. Okay. Moving on. And now, we have finally returned to our homeland. To Vlandia. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been back here. Uh, Alright, looks like most of our influence has been spent. We'll, we'll still hang on to it for a little bit. It's getting us 90 a day. Uh, let's just get acquainted with everyone and see what's going on. Ho hold up. Who was that? Borcha of the forest people? The long lost ancestor of Borcha himself? Oh no, that's interesting. What do we got over here? Uh, Gweth the Wronged. Uh, actually, a pretty decent fighter. Okay, what a what a fro is that? Is that Shumi's long lost sister? Uh, Ethnobold the Brave. Okay, decent, decent, nothing crazy. Um, he better be brave going out in public with that widow's peak. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think I think we're best off waiting for just a tad to get all the money out of uh our mercenary contract before we leave. And then, we need to speak to the king. But before we do that, let's go ahead, take a walk around the town center. Let's get our first, uh, our first enterprise here. 
Also, I wonder where the ladies are. The ladies might a some of the ladies might actually be around here. We could try to meet one of them. Um, otherwise, we'll probably just meet whoever makes it to the top two. Next episode, probably. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. I need myself a tannery. What do we got here? Pottery shop over there. Oh, a tannery is already here. Beautiful. All right, I'm coming. Step by step, we're taking over more and more of the businesses. This is going just swell for us. Shop worker. All right, I would like to buy this workshop. All right, 13.7K. Keep it as it is. Yes. Boom. All right, we can almost have enough for another one. It's the crazy thing. But just like that, the Rolf Mercantile Empire grows just a little bit bigger. Can you only own one of those per town? Or could I also own the other uh, slot for an enterprise in that town? Is that a thing? I don't know if we ever tried that as Ron. Hmm. Uh, all right. Trade-wise. Give me some good news. Please tell me you've got some good armor. Oik. Oik. Not, not exactly what I was hoping for, if I'm being honest. Um, How much better is this for us? 11, uh, 19... Plus 17. Not as good as the cavalry armor we saw. Um, but it's also 10k cheaper, which isn't horrible. Alright, we might might end up catching some of that next episode. I think that's the goal for next episode. The last couple episodes have been us getting a workshop every episode. I think the next episode, our goal has got to be upgrading our equipment. Getting us uh, tanky. Yeah. Alright. You guys know what time it is. Let's go talk to a king. Oh my god, we finally found him, Durthurt. So, I hadn't even been looking. Uh, Vlandia is doing very well on this playthrough. Not only have they retained all of their starting castles. In fact, I th does Karis... No, Karis does normally belong to them. <laughs> in, in Ron's campaign, it got taken almost immediately. But no, it does. they do normally start out with that. But they have taken significant land from the north here. From the Sturgeons. Um... That castle, Varcheg, these two castles, and I don't know if they normally start out with these two either. Durthart's doing work. That's what we want to see. Um, all right. Time to leave the kingdom. Nobles of the realm will... Hey, hey, what kind of... Hold up. I might have to look this up. Do I need to talk to somebody to end my mercenary ship, or is there just no chance at not leaving with, with hurt feelings? Oh, oh my god, that is actually wonderful. Okay, was not expecting that. Um, <laughs> cool, alright, as I made peace with the Southern Empire. So, I was just about to leave our mercenary uh, contract with the Azurai, but then I remembered, if we did that, we'd still be at war with, um, with the Southern Empire. They would still hate us, but then they just made peace. I was literally traveling down to the Southern Empire so that that way when I left, I'd be able to talk to one of their lords and pay them a bunch of money to get them to like like me. But uh looks like we don't have to do that anymore. Alright, Durther, where'd you go? <laughs> Come back here. Uh, I can finally join you, I think. I think. Oh, there he is. Perfect. Okay, so now... Also, I don't think there's that big of a... I don't think we take much of a hit. For doing that. Because, I don't know, maybe if you only, if you, like, serve them for an insufficient amount of time, they get pissed. But just doing what we did right there, no big deal. Durthurt. Buddy. Nobody hates me anymore. Uh, I would like to enter your... <sighs> Hold up, what? Wait. What? What's going on here? Is it because... No way. So hold up. They weren't at war with me when I was a mercenary, but as soon as I ended my become ended being a mercenary, now they are again. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. Alright. Let's let's go smooth things over. Okay, alright. We finally found this uh lady, I think. That is a monstrous forehead right there. Uh alright. Make peace. What what are we talking here? 
Oh, that's not bad at all. 2,500. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna really screw me over. Alright, cool. Yeah, we're all good. We are all good. Baby, I, honestly, I was worried that the, what, 1600 some that I brought was not going to be enough, but that was plenty. Okay, time to find Durthard again, and we can finally end this episode. Bro, I had finally gotten back to... Oh, I just found Durthard and the game's about to crash. Are you kidding me? Hold up. Common cause, corrupted game file, revalidating. Oh, you're kidding. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, sure, whatever. Hold up. Nope, it's gonna crash, isn't it? Ignore this failure? Yeah, sure, ignore it. Let me save, 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 save. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, okay, I finally made it back. It actually crashed twice. Oh, okay, all right. Please, let me just talk to you, Durther, and then I can... Revalidating the files takes forever, but... I can do that tomorrow or something. I just really want to get this episode done and up today. All right. Uh, something I'd like to discuss. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, money? Money. Why don't I smooth things over with you a little bit? Give you some armored bearskin? Oh. Barter offer accepted. That, that Okay. Uh, I'd like to enter your service. All right, my lord, I would <laughs> I would pledge allegiance to you and be counted amongst your loyal followers. All right, you are known as a brave warrior and a fine leader of men. Okay, all right, all right. I am ready. Uh, yeah, no, totally swear homage to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> Rolf will definitely be loyal to you as long as your breath remains. Um, you know, maybe a knife in the back, your breath stops, and then he doesn't have to be loyal. All right, no. All right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Boom. Rolf has joined the Vlandians. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, my lord. I have great hopes for you. I will prove myself worthy, of course. Ah, and just like that, we are finally a lord. What is this, seven episodes in? Something like that? All right. We're going to wrap it up here. Next episode is going to be a fun one. Not only will we, we, will we hopefully be meeting... Some of our uh, potential uh, future wives. Uh, we might actually be getting our first... Depending on, on how well Vlandy does, we might be getting our first uh, castle or fief. I mean, if they keep on conquering stuff, they're likely to give it to us because we have nothing, I assume. I assume he didn't give us anything, right? Yeah, he didn't give us anything, which makes sense. That's perfectly reasonable. Uh, okay, yeah. Things are starting to heat up. This is going to get fun. But that's it for now. So remember, guys, vote on who you want to see make it into the final round of Bachelor in Calradia. The two matchups are Liana versus Mitzi and Autoflita versus Sylvand. But until next time, as always, take it easy.